Hello everyone, welcome to the Lone Reality Show. This is the exercise show that I told you guys that I'd, I'd do. And yeah, I know I look fat in the shirt, but no I'm not. But first, the first thing we're gonna start doing is start stretching out. So we're gonna stretch out, because if you don't stretch your muscles, it's gonna wind up hurting. You'll regret it in the long run, so well, we're not gonna not gonna do a whole lot of leg muscles. What we're gonna be concentrating on you know, most today is the arms, because that's everybody keeps asking about my arms. So what I did to get them this way. So we're gonna be concentrating on that, and we're gonna be doing my backyard today. So first thing we want to do is you're gonna hold your hands like this. So they're in a diamond, in a diamond shape. We're gonna take come back here. And we're gonna do ten push-ups. Now there's ten push-ups right there. Now, I'm going to show you another thing that you can do that is, is really, it, it's going to hurt. So, especially when you're not used to it. So, you want to take some weight. I got 20 pound weights right here. I'll take some weight. Both ends, and you're going to get down on the ground and do push ups that way. The way you're going to do it is you're going to push down push up you gotta go bring it back up with you and switch them off just like that so we're gonna go like this so you read down like this and the closer you put your feet together the harder it is okay I'm done it so long you can't do it Okay, now that right there is going to work your stomach muscles and your arms and your shoulders and your chest because you're working all those muscles at one time and it's also going to work your back muscles but as you can tell I'm sniffling a little bit because I've got a cold breeze here and I got a few allergies <laughs> but now do these, this is why it stress that you, you stretch your muscles because if you don't, you're going to be hurting. But now, for, ju for just weight, what we're going to do is just do some regular ones like this. We'll hold them out like this so that way you want to you keep, try to keep your arm away from your body because you put it next to your body. You're actually using your body to lift the weights and not really your arm. So if you put it away from your body, you're using all your arm. We'll do 10 of them. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the slower you do it, the harder harder it is. Because if you try to do them fast, then all you're doing is bobbing back and forth like this, and you're not really getting the weight up there, and you're not using your arm like you're supposed to. So you want to do, try to do it just as slow as you can, or slower. Find your own speed at it, but do it slow. Don't do it fast. If you do it fast, it's not going to do you any good. And we'll do this one. Six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. All right. Now another one that I do is taking the weights and putting them right in front of you and going up and down like this. You can try it with just one first. Try it with just one. You're going to get all you need for the first time. You want to hold them right out straight. Hold your arms right out straight. And keep your body straight too. You, want to, you don't want to spread your legs apart because your stepping muscles are going to start hurting a little bit. And your chest muscles, it's really going to work your chest muscles a lot. So we'll do, we'll do 10 of these. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you want to take a little breather because you work all these muscles, you start out working all these muscles off. One time with, with no interruption, which is normally what I do, then you're gonna you gotta you have to let air get to you, to your muscles. You want the oxygen to get to your muscles, so that way it helps them to heal better, and and you're not hurting as much. But if you if you try to rip them out one at a time or one right after the other one, you're gonna wind up ripping a muscle or tearing a muscle or or pulling a muscle and that's the last thing that you want to do but and I'm going to show you an exercise that you do not want to do so I did this exercise before and I, I regretted it but because I like this right here you don't want to do that exercise right there I did that I did that before and my, I don't know, something happened with my arm, but I had to wind up holding it up and all that. Otherwise, have it down and wind up going numb on me and hurt. And so I'd have to hold it up like this all the time. And it was it was pretty irritating after a while. But another, another one that we're going to do is this one right here. Now see, as, as we go, you, see, I'm, I'm saying take a breather, and I'm not even taking the breath that I should take. But it, but it is important to, to let your body relax a little bit while you're doing it until you get used to doing it. Because once you get used to doing it, then your body can handle it. And you'll be able to do one right after another after another. And me, I like getting a good workout in, so I just go and go and go, and um, until I completely worn myself out. But this right here, it, it's called the uh, it's called the shock wave. And what you do with this? There's several ways that you can use this thing. See what it does? It pops up and down like this. So I'm sure you've probably seen them on TV before. So what this does is it helps the back muscles. It takes it really, especially for females, it takes the flab off the back muscles, where where women get uh, flab or, or fat back on their on the back of their arms more. It, that helps take that down, and also helps tighten up the, the chest muscles up here and the stomach muscles. You, you'll find that it helps the whole back of the whole front of the body and the shoulders. It really helps every part of the body and helps to lean it down so you get that that fat and flab off there that you don't want on there so I'm not going to do this for very long because normally I do it for five minutes but I'm just going to do it for a couple right now and you just, I'll show you a couple different ones if you want to go like this and you, you do not want to hold your hand right up against that you want to hold on the grip so if you hold your hand up against that, you're going to start hurting this knuckle right here. So you hold it down on the grip, you don't hurt that knuckle.
Okay, we'll do that right there. The, normally you want to do it for like, like five minutes worth of up here because it's not that hard of an exercise. It gets hard on the arms because you're tightening up the arms. But here's another way that you can do it right here. I know that looks funny, but what it does is it tightens up your two ab muscles right up here. And actually probably it actually probably does the, the second layer of, of your ab muscles too, but <clears throat> but then another thing that you can do with it is go like that. Then you then you're tightening up all of your ab muscles here and even along here, and you turn on the other side. And you're doing the same thing, tightening up your ab muscles here and over here. But those there are harder to do. You'll find it awkward doing them. But the, that's what those there are good for. And another one is holding it up here like this. And going right, going right in the back. Like that. What that does is it tightens up all your back muscles right up here. So, which is both, both, it's good for both men and women. Because that, it helps your shoulders to get, get stronger and keeps the, the fat and flab away from them. So, whew. all right, we're going to, another one, another one that I do. Uh, well, I don't know if I want to do that one this time or not, but you're going to find this video is going to be uncut. And because I figure you guys would rather see me in reality doing it than any, any other way. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a series of push-ups, which, which is only, well, how can I do that? All right, we're going to go like this. We're going to do the diamond-shaped one. See, because I've, I kind of got my routine out of order a little bit than what I normally do. So, we're going to go like this, make your diamond shape, and do do these 10, 10 push-ups or whatever you can you can do at the time. But, one, two, three. And we're gonna do push-ups with the weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, then we're gonna do these. And take, you know, just like this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna work our, our biceps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
Six. You don't want to start just starting out. You don't want to do any more than that. Then take your breather. <laughs> but that's what we're gonna do this week for the show. And next week we'll concentrate on some other things. And uh, but at least now people will be up start exercising, start getting their their, their fat, winter fat gone and their summer skin in. So, thank you everybody, and we'll see you next time on Lone Reality.